Alrighty, I'm back for one more video. Today we're going to do um, manually managing plugins for things like when Marketplace doesn't get updated. So, classic example of this, AGR Pro is for some reason never up to date uh, and it's the Marketplace's fault. So, here is um, the Dragon IK project I was working on in the former video. All I did was make a project plugins folder. Pretty standard if you do this, like this is how you man manually manage your your project plugins. Um, so if you don't have one, make one, put your project plugin in there. Uh, ideally, you should have your project as a C++ project already. You, if not, right click, generate Visual Studio project files. Um, if that gives you guff, you probably have to open it and make a C++ file of whatever. It doesn't matter what it is, just a blank class and it'll make it a C++ project. So once you do that, you can put AGR Pro, which is this version 5.1, copy it, paste it into your project plugins. If you're ever managing project plugins and you have an old version of something, for instance, I had Dragon IK in here and it got updated in the marketplace, I would delete this one, then drag the new one in because overriding never works right. It is always a absolute nightmare, so don't do it. Um, then you'll want to go in, delete the intermediates and binary files. They are temporary files from AGR, and they basically are going to reference the old engine and probably marketplace, I don't know. Anyway, uh, once you toss those in there, uh, you'll just have these files. You'll have either your solution or your U project I recommend you open with Rider, because I don't use Visual Studio anymore. Rider is much better, um, seeing as this video is going to be really short. I am going to quickly say, if you have time, check out this uh, new plugin I have coming out for a locomotion system. It's going to be called Gate Locomotion System, and it'll be on Marketplace soon. And uh, it's a very useful animation tool. It's fairly agnostic in design and uh, just allows you to do things very, very performant. And it's a lot more user friendly than ALS or Lyra. Um, and everything pretty much works under the hood, so there's not a lot to worry about, but that'll be coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, that. All right, so after that, you can open your rider, and uh, it doesn't have anything in here, actually. Let me do this, close. Wonderful. Oh, he's gotta sit here and wait now. <laughs> Come on, Ryder. Okay, so this plugin test project is the Dragon IK one. Now it's got AGR Pro in the directory. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, open the AGR Pro, the U plugin, and you're going to see version 5.10 is your engine version. You want to change that to 5.2. Then build. And Rider's doing its structure or whatever it's going to do. While this is doing this, oh, here we go. So you can see AGR Pro has been added. It's going to start building. forever. Well, 
Oh, while this is loading, I'm going to shamelessly pitch another thing, because why not? Um, one of the projects I'm working on right now is The Chosen Few. Uh, check out Ash Monster Studios, uh, their social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Follow if you can, and uh, you'll get to see updates on this game that I've been working on for a little while. And I have a couple more projects I'm working on that I'm hoping to announce soon. Um, but this is one I've been working on for quite a while, and it was a lot of fun. So it built, built the six modules, build succeeded. Now, if I go to my plugins, um, only enabled, AGR Pro is working. So it is the UE 5.1 version you can see here, um, but it is updated and working in 5.2. Uh, and if I was to just go here, for example, I can go class settings, and you can see AGR Core Anim instances right there. So. Uh, yeah, that's an easy way to manage your project plugins, and I uh, highly recommend just, you know, getting into using Rider, um, because I found it impossible to code until I got this program with Unreal, at least like Visual Studio, I mean, I'm sure it has its, its case use cases outside of Unreal, like I've had quite a few discussions with people about that, but in particular, Rider just has better access to Unreal's API, or at least... It's it's just so it's so much easier to use. I don't know. Transform me over, over overnight. So I highly recommend downloading Rider. Don't be afraid of C plus um, plus. And yeah, don't be afraid to contact me if you want me to make any more videos about specific topics. So thank you.